the 1500 metre lineup, but all ready to go. Morsley, the Rouge, Rotich, the big three, Cacho, the Olympic champion of 92, Anderson, another Kenyan Dane, Suleiman, who got the bronze medal in 92, John Mayock, the British number one, Bosch of Germany, of France rather, Akimi of Tunisia, Stencil, Germany, Estevez of Spain, Hood of Canada. In fact, there are 12 nations represented in 12 uh, athletes in this final from 11 nations. The only nation with two athletes in this, Spain, Cacho and Estevez. On the inside, Bosch of France. Next to him, Rotich the Kenyan. The World Championship 1500 made his final. Three and three quarter laps of the track. And Bosch trying to hold the inside. Rotich trying to go with him. Stencil of Germany is there as well. On the outside is the Spaniard, Estevez. A two Mor uh, the, the Moroccan best showing. Right on the outside, El Rouge. What a record he's got at the moment. Won 10 out of 11 last year. Atlanta is only defeat when he fell. He's won 10 out of 10 this year. And Morsley is tracking El Rouge. Well, this is exactly what happens. The World Championships, they spend the whole season on the Grand Prix circuit, but they have pacemakers in the races. When they come to a championship, you're not allowed pacemakers. They certainly don't have a pacemaker here today. And the pace is particularly slow. John Mayo. I think he's got a chance today of doing exceptionally well. There's only six of these athletes who've run any faster than John Mayock, and I would like to see him impose his authority on this race. And so far, in positioning himself on the outside, noticing everything that's happening, a very slow first lap of 61 seconds, John Mayock's in a good position. The ambition for John is to hold that position. Actually, this will favor Catcher to the 1992 Olympic champion, who's now gone to third place. He's got a tremendous finish. A bit surprised nobody's taking it out a bit quicker. And there goes Estevez now, the second Spaniard. Will he slow it down for his teammate? Answer, yes, he's trying to. Elba Rouge in second place, Stencil is third, Cacho four. Morsley following there, and here goes Elba Rouge. He moves right up now. To second place, right on the shoulder, and Morsley follows him. It's about Alba Rouge, rather third. This Canadian hut has gone second. Stencil, the German, is there. And this, so tactical, it's very surprising. Three very fast athletes out there. 2-2 two, two is nothing. It certainly is. Now it's going to be a big race for the next 700 metres. El Garouge there, the pretender to Morsali's crown. Morsali is tracking El Garouge. Now I'm sure El Garouge is going to make a run from a long way out. I'm certain he won't leave it till the last sprint. And there, as I speak, he begins to stretch it. Now El Garouge, the pretender, and the champion Morsali tracks him. Is it going to be the end of Morsali's reign as the king of 1500 meter running? And is this the new man who will reign for a long time? Look at that acceleration by El Garouge. He's certainly taking them out now. This is what he had to do to run the finish out of Morsley. Morsley likes to dictate. 2.43 at the bell. And El Garouge has really gone for it now. Morsley struggling to hang on. The gap is about 3-4 metres. But he's closing it. C Cacho is right behind him. Now Suleiman is in fourth place. And he's really strung the field right out. El Garouge. Only 22. Going for his first true international title. Morsley trying desperately to hang on, but he's got Cacho with him now. And El Garouge is opening the gap. He's going farther away. Cacho now taking on Morsley in the battle for second place. They'll surely not catch the leader. He's too strong. El Garouge goes hard for home. Mors Morsley's beaten. Cacho, one of the fastest finishers in the world, but he can do nothing about uh, the Moroccan. El Garouge wins the world title. Cacho in second place, and Estevez takes the bronze from a dispirited Morsley, who slowed down at the finish and gave the bronze away. Well, we did see the end of the era of Nuruddin Morsley. He's dominated this event all of the 90s, and now 
the man who last year at the Olympic Games had the misfortune to fall with a lap to go becomes Morocco's only second ever world champion. The first one was the great Saeed Awita, and now we're looking at a man who I feel is destined to dominate this event for a long, long time. A perfect run by El Garouge. He knew he had to go from a long way out. With 700 meters to go, he took over the lead. He ran 53 seconds for that penultimate lap, and he just blew them away. He destroyed them from a long way out, and you need to be brave to do that. And we're looking, I think, at the end of the career of one of the all-time greats of 1500 meter running. And this is the man who's destined to reign for an awful long time. And when you think about it, last year, we all felt that he had a chance to win the Olympic Games. He fell at the last with a lap with a lap to go. He then had to go away and train again, get himself ready. He's been unbeaten all year. He's looked unbeatable all year. And today, he really did come of age. It was a slow race early on. He knew that wasn't going to suit him. And he decided, well, I'm going to have to go and do it myself. Celebrating with Moroccan officials and supporters. Possibly one or two members of his family there as well. He's got, uh, he's one of eight brothers. And uh, what a great race for Spain. They finished second and third at the end. Well, here we are. We're looking at the second and third place. Two Olympic champions in the wake of the new world champion, Hisham El Garouge. The champion from Barcelona, Berman Cacho. And the champion from last time around in Atlanta, Nuruddin Morsley. And look at these three. The medals are safe there. And then look at the run from Estevez coming through in fourth place. He never gave up. He kept battling since Morsley was in despair. El Garouge wins. Cacho in second place. Morsley despairingly tries again, too late, for Estevez the bronze. Well, there's not an ounce of problems there for Hisham El Garouge. And at this point, I must admire Furman Cacho. He's been injured all season, but he's brilliant at getting himself ready for the big occasion. And you can see Nuruddin Morsley looking at the screen at the bottom of the finishing straight, and he'll see Estevez coming. There was nothing there when Estevez came, and I think that's a sad way for Nuruddin Morsley, the three times champion, to give away his title, speeding on the line. But this man, well, they have their time in 1500 meters. There was Herb Elliott, and then Peter Snell, and then the great Jim Ryan and John Walker, then the era of Cohen, Ovet, and Cram, and then Morsley, and now El Garouge has taken over, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw him for an awful lot longer. That's 11 races this year. 11 wins last year 11 races 10 wins the only time he lost he fell on the last lap of the olympics and by the way john mayock of great britain was ninth in 338.67 he's a real power this man doesn't mind which way ra the race is run in fact he prefers to push the pace and surely it won't be long before he collects world record the champion of the world well in this day and age you can watch yourself win while you're winning you've got to be very careful that you don't do that David and I think that's what Morsley was doing he was watching himself finishing third and he actually finished fourth well I have no illusions El Garouge was looking up at the big screen then his winning time 335.83 that's slow for him Cacho in second place 336.63 Estevez delighted with that bronze Spain 2 and 3 337.26 Morsley in fourth place Looking down the list, Robert Anderson, the Kenyan Dane, back in eighth place. John Mayock was ninth. A Rotic never showed. Big disappointment by a man who's ranked about three in the world. Well, next to come in a few minutes, the 10,000 meter final. But Cacho and Estevez. It was clear, actually, when Estevez went in front after about just after the two laps that he slowed it down 